what's up guys I'm gonna tell you guys all the details about the manual swap in this video so let's get it started so I'm gonna hit it right out the box you're gonna need about ballpark maybe thirteen hundred dollars twelve hundred dollars I spent exactly on the dot eleven hundred um, about eleven hundred dollars so that's how much I spent but you may spend more depending on the condition of your car my e30 is in great condition right now so a lot of things didn't need to be fixed or anything like that so I did replace all of the seals in the transmission and you can see right there uh, rolling through the gears a nice five speed the pedals down there I got custom and pedals they're off eBay you guys can get those too and you just install them yourself really nice the whole setup looks really great uh, I also got a clutch stop. I'll show you guys in a clip before and a clip after this, but it really shortens the travel of the clutch pedal if you don't know what that does. But I'll show you guys, and it's just perfect. The car is perfect. Um, so, yeah, total parts I spent about uh, $1,200. Um, I also changed my differential from an open diff to a limited slip differential. And that differential came from a 325iX BMW uh, E30, and it's a 410 LSD. I only paid $200 for it. It's in great condition. Uh, you will not probably, you will never find an LSD for $200. I'm just telling you that right now. I got really lucky with that. I know a lot of people who sell BMW parts that know me, so I got that for a deal. But here's some really nice shots of the interior. It's looking really clean. Um, I'll tell you guys all the parts right now. And here's a couple clips of the car running. Uh, the exhaust sound, it's still stock. The muffler's broken, but I got an exhaust on the way, so don't even worry about that. It's custom, it's not a magnet flow, it's none of that. It's a real custom exhaust, so you guys will love that. So let me get on the list of how many parts I bought and what the name of those parts are the full parts list of extra upgraded parts and just necessary replacement pieces for the swap this is not including the transmission the drive shaft the differential uh remember the differential is optional uh that's something i did you do not have to change the differential to swap the transmission on your e30 is completely unnecessary but it's not including the transmission the drive shaft the pedals and the clutch the flywheel yeah, not including those things. Um, so this first item is from ECS Tuning. It's the Shifter Rebuild and Upgrade Kit, and that ran me about $130. Um, my shift knob was about 30 bucks. The uh, early model uh, shift rod selector joint was uh, 30 bucks as well, about 23. Um, if you have a late model transmission, that joint is gonna be a little bit different. There's two spe there specific to what year transmission you have. So if you have an early model transmission, then you're gonna need uh, the specific joint that I have. Or if you have a late one, then they have a specific late joint that you need for that. Anyways, next up is the uh, drive shaft uh, CSB, um, the center support bearing, that was $30 as well. That is also um, car specific to your E30. So if you have an early model E30 or a late, it is also dependent on that so make sure you know what you have i'm sure everyone knows what they have so next up is the uh transmission bushings i got from garagistic they're polyurethane ada so they're like the streetable uh they're still very comfortable uh much better than stock and i'm not even trying to you know brag about it it's really good so i highly recommend getting those if you're going to swap your transmission or if you already have a manual and you need to change your bushings put those in also the um, stainless steel clutch line from Garagistic and those two things ran me about $65 next up on from ECS tuning is the throwout bearing and that ran about $40 next up is a Guibo or the flex disc whatever you want to call it there's you can call it either one that was about 56 bucks now up here I have the reverse light switch that actually screws into the side of the transmission that activates your reverse lights I got a new one of those um, shift lever bushing selector rod seal output shaft seal clutch hose fitting and the special braided clutch line for um, that runs to your master cylinder 
um, from the brake reservoir. And now I have the uh, master cylinder itself and those parts together ran me about 82 bucks. Now the clutch uh, slave and the input shaft seal and that ran about $73 and that is pretty much it from extra parts that you need to order online or that you need to find from somewhere. Those are all necessary pieces to finish this swap puzzle. Um, and the transmission and all those other pieces I listed, I paid 654 and that totaled out to about $1,100. So that's pretty much it on the uh, manual swap info, guys. So please stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for the continued support and the growth of uh, the channel. We're getting more subs every day, getting a lot of positive things, uh, a lot of positive feedback from you guys. So really appreciate that. See you guys in the next one. I'm Boosted J. Peace.